Hello everyone, in this video I'll be comparing the Samsung Galaxy Buds and the Apple AirPods. So uh, this is going to be split into five parts. So we're going to talk about the uh, price, hours, uh, hours of playback, hardware features, software features, comfortability wise and sound quality wise. And overall, uh, which uh, are these two wireless earbuds are better. So let's go ahead and get started. So as you can see, this is the Samsung Galaxy Buds. So this is Samsung's latest uh, wireless earphones and these retail for $250 in Australia. As you can see, this is kind of like a pill shaped design. It has a matte, uh, kind of like a matte texture to it. See so it has the Samsung uh, branding which is tuned by AKG and on the back it has the USB Type-C port and then some FCC labels on the bottom. And then if you open these up, so as you can see I've got the uh, white version, they also come in black and uh, yellow. So these are what the earbuds look like. They're very small and has a nice uh, rubber tip so it fits in your ear really well. And uh, with these white ones they also have this nice little rainbow hue effect to it. So uh, this is what you get with the Samsung Galaxy Buds. Also uh, when you order the Samsung Galaxy Buds you, you do uh, they do include the USB Type-C cable and some wing ear tips to swap. So this is the AirPods so a lot of people might see this as you know dental floss because it does kind of look like it but it has a nice glossy finish to it. Um, as you can see uh, there's a little button to uh, connect to other Bluetooth devices. Has that little branding or little logo designed by Apple in California. And then inside if you take a look we have the AirPods uh, nicely tucked in its uh, and it's uh, in the case and it, it actually has strong magnets so it actually holds it really well. So in terms of the overall design, uh, I do prefer the AirPods and one of the reasons is because of the uh, being able to open it with one flick. So you're able to open this in one hand and also the uh, AirPods are stuck right into the, um, into the slot so they're, they're, hold, they're held by really strong magnets so they can't fall off easily. So if you're if you do drop these, they're more, more likely to not fall out of the cases. So that's a really good thing about these AirPods. The Samsung Galaxy Buds, they are, they do come, uh, they do have these little magnets, but unfortunately they're not as strong as the AirPods. So they do come out quite easily. So if I give it a little shake, yeah, as you can see they come out quite easily. So um, just overall, I do prefer the AirPods. Also, when you open this case, you can't really open it with one hand. Um, you kind of have to use two hands to open these. Um, so this is not what I don't really like about it, but and also the fact that it doesn't have a satisfying, satisfying um, opening when you open and close them. It kind of it doesn't just it doesn't feel smooth. Whereas the AirPods, they actually smell, feel really smooth and it feels satisfying when you open and close these. So overall design, I do prefer the AirPods. Although uh, with the AirPods, I don't really like how they don't have the LED so to tell you when the uh, device is fully charged. So they only show it inside of the um, of the um, of the AirPods case. Whereas the Samsung Galaxy Buds, they actually have an LED light on the outside and also on the inside. So it'll tell you. Uh, the, but the thing is, with the inside, it actually tells you uh, whether the Galaxy Buds are charged. So the LED light on the inside tells you if these are fully charged, and that's when it goes green. But on the outside, it tells you when uh, the case is uh, if it's fully charged or if it's low on battery. So there's a difference between the uh, the inside and the outside LEDs. Also with the Galaxy Buds, they do feature uh, wireless charging as well. So you can use the Samsung Galaxy uh, S10s to wirelessly, wirelessly charge the Samsung Galaxy Buds. Whereas the AirPods, the only way you can charge these is um, through a lightning cable or lightning port. Okay, so just in terms of overall design, I do prefer the uh, AirPods over the Galaxy. So next, let's talk about the hours. So how long you can play using these uh, devices. So I've checked on the websites, and for Apple, they claim that you can get uh, you can get 24 hours on this case. So if you charge it to 100%, you can get 24 hours out of this uh, battery life out of this case before you have to recharge it again, which is really good. And the earphones, uh, they last around five hours uh, each ear. Or each AirPods it lasts around five hours before you have to recharge them. But if you put these in the case and you leave them to charge for around 50 minutes, 
then you can get an additional three hours out of these bad boys. So um, compared to the Galaxy Buds, the Galaxy Buds on the website, they claim that the charging case lasts around seven hours and the earphones last around, or the earbuds last around six hours. So even though they do take, uh, they do last you know, an extra hour longer with these earbuds, um, the charging case, it's almost like a one-time charge. So um, if these run out and you charge them once, you only can charge these uh, once up to 100% bef uh, before the actual battery case dies. So just overall advantage, I believe, on the AirPods just simply because they do last longer. And I've tested both of these. Uh, they do, these do last, or they don't last quite as long as the AirPods. The AirPods do last quite a while. I mean, this could get you easily three, four days um, if you listen to like two hours every day uh, before, or even a week before you have to charge these. Whereas these ones, this would probably last like two days before you would have to charge these. So uh, overall hours, I do prefer the AirPods. Okay, now let's talk about software features. So both of these come have uh, pre-installed software features. So if you have the Galaxy Buds, you have the Galaxy Wearable app. So if you open this up, and they're really easy to connect, very similar to the Apple AirPods, how the AirPods are connected. So you open these up, it'll give you a little window telling you that uh, just to connect to the uh, to the Galaxy Buds, and you just click on the connect, allows uh, certain permissions, and there you go. You're right into the Galaxy Buds, and you'll be able to start listening to music. With the iPhone or iOS with the Air AirPods, very very it's very similar. So you just all you have to do is just open the lid, press connect. So the AirPods are very easy. So all you have to do is just open the lid, and there you go. It's already connected. So very easy, uh, very similar process with both of these features. So let's talk about the AirPods features. So with the AirPods. It actually shows if you have the widget on, it actually shows you the percentage for both the AirPod case and the individual AirPods as well. So that's a really good thing about the i with iOS. With the, the Galaxy Buds, they only show you the uh, battery percentage for left and right ears, but unfortunately, it doesn't show you the battery percentage for the actual case. I'm not sure why. I have looked around all the settings in here, but unfortunately, it doesn't um, show you that. So. Um, yeah, but with the AirPods, they actually show you the AirPod case. Also, another thing with the AirPods is that if you go into settings and you go into the actual Bluetooth device, you can actually um, you can actually customize uh, what you want to do with your left and right ear. So if you want to double tap on the left ear, you can use that to go next track, play pause, Siri, or previous track. But this, these are the only uh, functions you can get on the AirPods. With the Samsung Galaxy Buds, there's heaps of features on this. So you got single tap, double tap triple tap, so single tap would be play and pause, double tap would be to uh, play next track, triple tap to go previous track, and you got uh, tap and hold, which you can customize that to do certain things. So you can turn on the quick ambient sound, voice command, or do volume down and up. So with this, uh, on the Galaxy Buds, they actually give you so much functionality uh, with the with these features. So that's a really good thing that Samsung has done. Unfortunately, with, uh, with uh, the AirPods, you're only limited to double tap, and that's it. You can't do single tap, you can't do triple tap, it's just double tap for these uh, AirPods. So, unfortunately, I do prefer the features on the Samsung Galaxy Buds. Also, one distinctive feature uh, with these is uh, they also have the ambient sound. So, with the Galaxy Buds, you can turn on ambient sound, which is pretty much, uh, it's pretty much microphones or external microphones in your ear. So, you pretty much will be able to listen to the external sound, the environment, without having to take out your earbuds. Um, with the, uh, but they do not feature the ear detection. So, what do I mean by that is that if we go into settings, the automatic ear detention detection that the AirPods have. So, if you're listening to music on the AirPods and you take one of the uh, AirPods out or the AirPods out, then the music will autom automatically stop playing. But if you put one of the uh, AirPods back in, if you put both AirPods back in, then it will start playing again. This does not feature that, but they do feature. Uh, but they, it's a bit similar, but if you take out both the Air, uh, the Galaxy Buds and put them back in the case, the uh, Galaxy Buds will stop playing the music and it will start charging the Galaxy, or the, the case will start charging the Galaxy Buds. And also both of them feature Find My Ear earbuds, but I do prefer the Find My uh, the earphones or ear AirPods on the AirPods just simply because they're much more louder compared to the Galaxy Buds. These are a bit more muted and quiet. Okay, so now let's talk about comfortability-wise on both of these. Um, 
in my personal experience, um, they do differ depending on the person. But in my experience, I do prefer the Galaxy Buds. They're, they're just because they have these rubber tips, they actually help you, or well, and the wing tips as well. They kind of help you uh, create a tighter seal around your ear, and um, it, it just fits better. Like whenever I shake my head or I'm doing something, if uh, I I know that they won't fall off because they fit so well in my ear. With the AirPods, they do um, sit. Uh, they're uh, they're kind of alright. I mean, they do sit uh, comfortably. But at times I do get that feeling where you know these AirPods are going to you know start falling out of my ears. So overall, I do prefer the comfortability wise on the uh, Galaxy Buds. Now let's talk about sound quality. So these the sound quality in both are both really good. Just the Galaxy Buds are better because they do create a tight seal around your ear. You do get more of the isolation sound. Like you hear more isolation sound. The uh, the the songs uh, the music is much more punchy. Or the sounds are much more punchy and overall it's just better. This has tends this has more of the bassy side, so the bass is a bit more deep. But um, the sound is is clear, but it's not. But this is just much more clearer. So uh, sound quality wise, I do prefer the Galaxy. Alright, so final conclusion. So overall, which one do I prefer? I mean, in my honest opinion, if I had to choose between one of these two, I would probably go with the Galaxy Buds, just simply because of um, the software feature integration, but also just the uh, the listening experience. It's just much better. Um, you know, you got the double tap features, or like all the tap features is just better uh, optimized on the Galaxy Buds. And the ambient sounds probably one of the best features. Um, that's pretty much, it's not a gimmick. It's actually legit work. So I just prefer the, Gal the Galaxy Buds over the AirPods. But at the same time, the AirPods are really good. I mean, it doesn't matter which one you pick up, whether it's the AirPods or the Galaxy Buds, they function really really similar i mean with the airpods if you have an iphone or, or an ios device then obviously pick up the airpods they're much better much more integrated within ios and you know you get that continu continuity feature where you can use the airpods on the mac on your macbook or your iphone or your ipad galaxy buds um this is really good for android users as well like not just only for Galaxy uh, phones, but also for Android in general. This is really good. But even if you use the Galaxy Buds on iOS or you use AirPods on the Galaxy or the Android or any Android device, they work really well. And also the functionality on both works very similar. Like you still get the same functionality, like the taps on the uh, on iOS, like the du single, double, and triple tap. They actually uh, work on iOS. Same with the AirPods, except with the AirPods, you do have to customize the double taps on iOS. But the um, uh, if you download a specific app on the AirPods, you do get the uh, auto ear detection. You get uh, the double tap features. It's just it works either way. I mean, they both work really good. So overall, this is just my uh, comparison between the AirPods and the uh, Galaxy Buds. Thanks for watching.